We follow the unanswered question with a world premiere by the extraordinary composer Rachel Portman, with text by my good friend Jean Shear. It was very important for us in this project to create a new piece and to have the birth of something here um, because this whole project is about planting seeds, putting seeds of, of music, of ideas, of questions, maybe even answers along the way and seeing what comes to fruit from them. Rachel is such a um, beautifully sensitive, um, attuned, human being and composer, of course, that searching and sensitivity comes through her music. It's what all great poetry does. It went directly into my gut. Knowing that it comes from the unanswered question, Jean's first line, there is a language without question marks. You can read it in the rings of trees, and in the wind, and the river, and in the sound of birds singing. Has their song changed since the first morning of the world? And then it takes us on the journey of more questions and trying to understand and to ask for grace to speak that language, the language that exists now as it did on the first morning of the world. This project and this piece in particular is a call to remember that this language exists and that we're a part of that language and the gifts and the revelations that come to us if we can open back up and value, listen, and engage with that language, the language of the trees, the language of the rivers, the language of our waters, the language of the life around us. We engage with that and listen to it. just about avoiding climate disaster. It's about giving ourselves the fullness of the life that is here now and connecting to that and being versed in a language that connects us to everything that is around us. <laughs>